This channel is supported by Truefire. Truefire is an online library of lessons from some of my favorite players. There's thousands of lessons on there. You can use the promo code JNC40 to get 40% off of any of their courses. Yesterday, Rabia put up a video confused as to why we are playing with our knobs when we are using our interfaces to plug in. And there's obviously some confusion around this, and I see a lot of people out there aren't maybe clued up on on the process when using a guitar plugin and why there may be some issues there. And at first, I was kind of confused as to why there was even a question around turning up an input level on your interface when using a guitar plugin. It might sound familiar to you because it's something that we were kind of talking about about a month ago. The plot has thickened. To set up the input level, you need to adjust the gain knob on your audio interface. The best practice is to set the input level as high as possible. As high as possible without causing any distortion or clipping. You can find also a video from Stephen Ward on their YouTube which says this. You want to get the signal as high as it can go without clipping and then back it off just a slight bit. Similarly, you can find line 6 saying the And adjust the gain or trim knob on the interface to ensure the level is not peaking which may be indicated on the device with a red LED. So a couple of interesting things happened. So in January, um, myself and David Beebe were chatting because he has a Morgan AC20 and the Neural DSP Morgan suite came out and he did some comparisons and he noticed what I also noticed was, which was that things that we thought should have been sort of relatively clean say like the Morgan Princeton on there was not really coming out clean at all for me and again like the Morgan AC20 uh, for him it had way more gain than his actual Morgan AC20 so we went on this kind of journey of uh, discovery together which actually basically all of the work uh, here that was important and uh, revelatory was done by Ed S, who has painstakingly gone to the effort of trying to get sensible responses from each plugin company. Uh, I think you should, if you're interested in this topic at all, check out his work on this. Um, but this has been going on for months for Ed, uh, and for me and Beebs, not so much longer. But it has been the case that uh, it was the thing. There was a reason that that was happening, right? And the reason is that myself and David Beebe are single coil guitar players and uh, we play with single coils and as a result of the advice that we were given by plug-in companies Neural DSP, Line 6 and others essentially we were adding loads of gain on our audio interfaces. Now since those videos there were a few responses in terms of, you know, for people for, for which this was a bit of a revelation. There were people that were resistant to it and saying, well, why wouldn't we just gain stage like a normal microphone and stuff? And this was actually the, the common um, thing that we were trying to push back on, right? Because that has been the, the common wisdom for a long time for a lot of people. Yeah, then you had yeah people saying, well, you get a, a, a noisier signal if you have the signal too low. Uh, which is a misconception, which Ed helped to kind of show that that was a, a misconception. In any case, what has since happened is that Neural DSP have changed their advice on this, which is a good thing. Um, but I think they did it without actually saying, but it's a good thing because their advice now actually makes a bit more sense. It's closer to being uh, something that is going to work for people in a better way. And also Rabir did a video kind of saying that he was confused as to why this was even a thing that people were talking about because it seemed obvious to him 
that you would leave your audio interface to minimum and you wouldn't add uh, gain on there. And that, that's kind of what I wanted to just show you here is that it wasn't me and Beeb's making stuff up, like the advice from the company. So this came from NeuroDSP's website. Um, if you go on the Wayback Machine, you can find this still. It is important to adjust the input level on your audio interface so that it is not too low, causing a weak or noisy signal, or too high, resulting in clipping and a saturated sound. To set up the input level, you need to adjust the gain knob on your audio interface. The best practice is to set the input level as high as possible, as high as possible without causing any distortion or clipping. So that wasn't me making that up. That wasn't David Beebe making that up. You can find also a video from Stephen Ward on their YouTube, which says this. You want to get the signal as high as it can go without clipping and then back it off just a slight bit. Similarly, you can find line six saying the same thing. And adjust the gain or trim knob on the interface to ensure the level is not peaking, which may be indicated on the device with a red LED. So it's not just us making up that this is what people all around the world were told that we should do by the plugging companies. And I think that was, yeah, that's been frustrating to see that now people are saying, yeah, of course you set your audio interface to minimum. If you have been doing that, great. There's a reason potentially, you know, if you were using humbuckers uh, and, and higher output stuff, like maybe Rabir tends to, although he does play a strat sometimes as well, you probably couldn't add much on that input gain without um, getting to clipping anyway. But for anyone with single coils like me, to, to get below clipping, you're adding 12, upwards of 12, 17 dB a gain. And most of us don't have the real amplifiers to know that we were doing something wrong there. David Beebe, in that case with the Morgan AC20, happened to. As much as it now seems kind of obvious although it's not the whole picture if you want to get the the full kind of into the rabbit hole on this go check out ed's channel because per interface all of the the numbers are different anyway so yeah but the it tom quail i i sat on there with david bb me and tom quail chatted to to these folks about it tom quail has made presets from your dsp this was novel for him um joseph and Dar novel for him jack gardner was adding um gain from his quad cortex you know like these are people that are literally making the presets that folks in the plugins use we weren't setting the thing to minimum which is now accepted by neural dsp as, as and given as the best advice so that's good i did predict that we would get told that this was bad advice from the start because uh, Miko from ML Sound Labs was in the comments saying it's terrible advice to, to add gain and I was like well it is the advice that's coming from these official kind of people and I kind of predicted at the time that what was going to happen is that the companies might just get rid of the advice that they were giving and tell us that this was the, was the advice all along um, so that's <laughs> kind of ended up happening in a way um, but I think that is basically why People like myself, people like David Beebe, people like Tom Quayle. Let me know if you're one of these people in the comments that was adding gain from your interface just because that was literally what it says in the manuals, it says in the documentation, it says in their YouTube videos that are made by their staff members. Um, you know, that's what we were told to do. Get that signal pretty much just below clipping so that you've got a healthy signal going into these amps. Nowhere that I could find was it ever saying set your audio interface input to minimum now we know that that's pretty good advice for most audio interfaces yeah good but it wasn't us making it up i don't know i just wanted to kind of follow up on that because it felt a little bit weird to be oh also it was Rhett Scholl who um also did a video on this because it, he was on that uh quiz that we did the new year's quiz and it was novel to him as well and it kind of was a bit of a light bulb moment i saw in the comments on here that people were saying we're we just talking about gain staging and that's the problem people that know like what gain staging is this isn't actually a gain staging issue so much right it's more about having a thing that is zero and closer to a baseline that someone created the plugin with now that baseline is actually different for every plugin manufacturer so it is a bigger problem than even i can cover on a youtube video properly 
um, and above my pay grade anyway. Um, but Ed is the guy to check out if you want to really nail down where you should be setting your audio interface um, per plugin. Um, because it's not just as simple as setting to zero for every single uh, audio interface. If you're on Universal Audio or Focusrite, it pretty much is for Helix Native and your DSP. But for other plugins, they all have their own kind of weird way of doing stuff. So in summary, what we've learned is that it was basically good advice that did seem pretty, maybe not basic advice and not quite the right thing to do when we initially kind of started discussing it and I was uh, following what Ed had basically said, where it's setting that gain to minimum is going to be plenty. That's going to give you all the dynamic range you need and uh, you'll be fine. You're not going to get a noisier signal because actually the noise floor of your pickups is the, the thing, your, the self noise of your audio interface is not a factor in this at all. And yeah, happy camping. Uh, add the gain back in if you want a more juiced up kind of signal. And that was one of the kind of things that did come up in the comments that some people were preferring to add a bit more gain. Um, and that's fine, but it's starting from zero as the minimum kind of makes a little bit more sense, especially if you're using single calls like me and you've been actually really goosing the input in the past. So that was that. Uh, your DSP have changed their stuff. They've left up some other stuff, which does show that the advice was not made up by me.